that was a funny face to be making at the beginning of the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and I'm a little off center, but we're gonna let it go. My fan knocked over this box from my Pro Air. I was just calling in refills for my prescriptions cause they out, boo. Um, <coughs> excuse me, my goodness. And I don't really use my inhaler that frequently, but um, it's actually in the red zone right now. So just in case it is allergy and wildfire season is coming up. And so that usually takes a toll on everyone. So I am absolutely no exception to that. Wow, I just totally made a mess. Hold on. I just wanted to grab a little paper towel because I made a little mess pouring some extra coffee from the beloved thermos into the cup. I love this cup, but um, it's the last cup from my set of dishes that I got a couple years ago for my birthday and um, all the other three broke. It's just, You know how the dishes come in a set of four, right? And a friend of mine bought them, or actually, my friend bought me the glasses, which I still have most of, but all, almost all the little ones are gone. Um, there's like three or four left. Uh, but my daughter bought me the plates and stuff. And so, uh, you know, things break and you feel bad, especially when they're gifts, you know, but what are you going to do? Uh, so... I just felt weird. I, I, when I woke up this morning, I thought, I am not making a video today. That's just, that's the way it was. I still can't wear makeup because this is almost completely gone, but it's still just enough there that I'm not, I'm not contaminating my makeup. So, <clears throat> I just thought, I don't want to go on camera another day with no makeup on, but you know what? You guys have already either accepted me or not without makeup, so... Cheers. Sorry, I didn't mean to be looking at myself. <laughs> but I felt weird that I wasn't going to talk to you guys. So, I don't care if one or a hundred thousand people watch the video. I just wanted to come and say hey. So, I'd had a broken nail for a few days, but I finally got a fresh look. It is my very first milk bath nails. Please go over to the other channel. Uh, it will be linked at the end of this video. So go check it out and look at, I'm gonna upload uh, this nail on the video soon, but I finally got the full set done. Did some chrome stamping, a video about that will be coming soon too. So I'm just super jazzed with the set. It may be one of my favorite sets I've ever done, honestly. Um, and I love that I'm making so much progress with my work and that I'm really doing a much better job than I was in the beginning. <sighs> Seeing my older video or pictures of nails just makes me know that I have really improved a lot. I thought I was doing good in the beginning and I know I'm doing good now. So that just feels good. So while I was deciding not to make a video today, I realized there were some cute things and not so cute things happening on Twitter today. So there is a hashtag, uh, it's only a matter of time before. That shit is gold, you guys. Go, if you don't have Twitter, I don't even know what to say to you. Twitter is so fun. And I know people want to focus on the negative people on Twitter. You know, it's your focus that counts. I don't focus on those fuckers. So my experience in Twitter is just a delight. Uh, it's the same thing on YouTube. Uh, even the few people, there's really only been one person so far who said something kind of snarky to me. I, I don't pay attention to that. I pay attention to y'all who say nice things to me, right? And if it's constructive criticism, please bring it on. I'm so happy to hear that. But if all you're focused on is how mean people are, well, then, yeah, that's what you're going to see. Um, I'm sorry, that kind of sounded bitchy. Ah, just this part. Mm -mm -mm. Not the rest of it. That's gold. Um, 
there's another person um I'm not even get, gonna get into vegans because that's a whole subject of its own I have very strong opinions and I just don't think that we need to discuss it in this video um another thing that happened and that's not so cute and I'm not you of course anything that we talk about with this situation is speculation Let's put that out there. But uh, Epstein was found injured uh, and um, I, as described, balled into a fetal position um, in his cell, uh, semi-conscious, which a semi-conscious state could easily be faked and an injury to your neck is easily faked. So, um, I'm sorry, it is. So, I don't know what that's about. Um, also, you have to know that anyone in a powerful position, like former presidents or current presidents who have hobnobbed with this fucker, they got to be worried. So, there's also the... To my mind, there's three possibilities here. Inmate came after him, whether just for something non-consequential or uh, paid to do him harm. That happens all the time. He hurt himself in an attempt to, I'm not sure what, or um, he's just faking it. So uh, I don't know. I, I Honestly, I just, who knows? Who knows? But you've got to know that the people in the positions of power cannot be thrilled that he is in jail. So, I, um, also R. Kelly, we taught, brushed on that up like a week ago or so, he has been denied bail as well. And, um, it was funny to me, but really, I don't know if I thought it was funny or not, honestly. Because I did chuckle about it, and I'm still sort of laughing about it now, but... I got, I, uh, occasionally I will take a lift because it's just, it's hard out there, y'all, without a car. And sometimes you've been out shopping and it's 100 degrees outside and you're like, I cannot with this. So you just get a ride. <clears throat> so I was in a lift the, like last week, week and a half ago, something like that. And the driver, he had turned it down when I got into the car, but he was totally jamming to R. Kelly. And I'm like, Maybe that's just not even something that should be shown that you're playing when you pick up a woman. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a little too babyish about it. I don't know. But it just struck me as odd, right? And here's the thing. I, you know, I'm bummed out about it, to be honest with you. But, you know, you got to be willing to give up a couple of songs you like to face the fact that young women have been abused, subjugated, devalued as human beings. I don't know, I think giving up a couple songs, that's okay, that's gonna be all right. We're gonna live through that. Um, after I made yesterday's video, I found out, I mean, almost literally after I uploaded the video, I found out yesterday that Rucker Hauer died. He was 75. I'm so sad that I live on a world without Rucker Hauer now. Never in my life has that occurred until now, and I'm sad. I'm just going to say it. Um, I have loved him since The Hitcher. Actually, probably Blade Runner, really. Um, but The Hitcher is the movie... Like, I've not seen Blade Runner a ton of times, maybe twice. I need to go back and rewatch it, because apparently it's brilliant. But um, I've seen The Hitcher a ton of times. So, and Blind Fury. Oh, my God. Do you remember that cheesy ass, what was it, like 90s, 80s, 90s movie? And when the kid dropped the toy and he catches it, like, under the bridge. Oh, at the end. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. That destroyed me. I fucking love that movie. So, I am so, so sad that Rucker Hauer has passed. Somebody else is gone, too. 
somebody that I posted about, come on, show me, show me, show me, show me, show me. I post a lot of nonsense, y'all. A lot of nonsense. And let me tell you, a vast majority of it, political. Um, because seriously, we've got we to gotta get our shit together, y'all. Oh, here it is. Jeremy Kemp, which you may not know his name straight off the bat, but once you see his face, you'll be like, oh, that guy. He's like a character actor, at least at least in America. He's a British actor. Um, but he, uh, why I am affected by it and why I noticed it so strongly is that in Star Trek, he plays uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard's brother. And in one of the movies, I forget which one, John, John, Jean-Luc is dealing with the death of his brother and his uh, nephew. It's, oh, it's the one with the Nexus, which is Generations, right? That's the first one. God, I'm stupid. Okay, so again, to both of these dudes, good journey, my dudes. Thank you for entertaining us and being awesome. I hope you were awesome. What I know about you is awesome. Um, so this horrible, ugly woman in Raleigh, North Carolina, called some chicks a really unfortunate racial slur. I'm sure you know the big word I'm talking about. Uh, I don't say that word. I don't think that word. It's just not part of my life in any way. I don't enjoy hearing it, even when I hear it from people who are saying it you know, like my whatever, um, it just makes me uncomfortable. I just want that word to die. Um, I know that we can never erase the past and what has been done, the pain that has been wrought. We cannot erase that. But what we can do is bury it in fertile soil and water it well and grow it into something beautiful, which is, which I know that's a really weird metaphor, but I'm a gardener, I like gardening, okay? So I always think of things in terms of you turn bullshit into something delicious, right? Or something beautiful. And I think the racist past of the entire world, you racism doesn't begin and end in America. People don't even need different skin colors to hate each other. They just don't. I mean, look at how tribes in the same, like African tribes or uh, North American tribes would battle each other. It's tribalism. It's not even racism so much as it's tribalism. So we cannot erase that, but we can learn from it. We can take steps out of that quagmire. We can move into acceptance and understanding and comprehension of facts and truth. And so <clears throat> when people allow themselves to get caught up in these lies and hate that have been fostered for generation on generation on generation of human experience, it just... It makes me realize that we are just not as evolved as I would love for us to be. So, but you know, you can't, you can't cry too much about the state that you're in because that wastes time. You got to keep pushing forward. And those of us who see that there's a future past the fighting, we have to be the ones that do that. We're the imaginal selves, right? Do you know what I mean? Um... When a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, and this, I was reminded of this from a post on Facebook by a friend of mine recently, and I actually reposted it. It was so, so, so good. When a butterfly is changing from a caterpillar into a butterfly, it just doesn't wrap itself into a cocoon and slap on a couple of wings. It turns into goo first. It turns into a sludgy, nasty goo that you would think is nothing. But inside of that goo, which is what we are now, we are an ugly, nasty, festering goo. But there are some of us that see better. And those are the imaginal cells. 
is inside the butterfly, or inside the goo rather, that used to be a caterpillar, are things called imaginal cells. And those cells are what are going to propel the birth of the butterfly from the goo. And anyone who sees past the hate and ugliness that humanity is now, and in my mind has been manipulated to stay that way. We may have always had this tribalistic throw rocks at the moon mentality, but we have been manipulated not to evolve out of it enough yet. And I truly believe that. I mean, there's just too much evidence to the naked eye to say that. But those of us who see the way out, those of us that are imaginal selves, we have to drive forward. We can't focus on the goo. We have to focus on the butterfly. Right? I don't know. When I think of that, it feels really true to me. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a butterfly. I'm going to see a butterfly. I'm going to work toward butterfly. I'm going to leave behind the goo. Become a butterfly with me, okay? We, I need all the imaginal cells to come with me and be a butterfly because we will drag the rest of the goo with us. And they will be fighting and screaming the whole way, but eventually they'll become a butterfly too. And they'll be like, oh, fuck. I dig being a butterfly. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. That's what I want. I want a world where we're all butterflies and we're done fighting each other. We're done being stupid and idiotic and fighting over shit that doesn't matter. None of it matters. What matters is the evolution of the human race. What matters is our thrival, not just survival. We need to thrive. And I know thrival is not a word. I just made that shit up. I'm coining a phrase, okay? Coin with me. That was funny, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, we have chatted for 17 minutes. I have talked only about a few things. Oh my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and say that's the end of today's video. If I get a wild hair up my butt, maybe I'll come back and chat again later today. Maybe we'll do a live. Y'all have not let me know. Do you guys want live streams or not? Let me know. I've been checking more frequently to see if I have any messages from y'all or any um, comments rather. Uh, I'm going to game today, y'all. I've already cleaned. There was like four dirty dishes in the sink. I washed those. I cleaned up the dog's toys. I've made the bed. The house is pretty basically in order. I'm gaming. I'm going to do some tomb raiding today. So maybe later I'll come by and chat with you. Maybe not. If not, you will definitely see me tomorrow when we talk about Swamp Thing and then Sunday for Claws. Maybe Saturday. I'm not sure. Why not? We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for watching. You know what to do with the buttons. Have a great day.